Alright, hey guys, what's going on? Uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Twixter, uh, the plugin that you can use to get the uh, the super s smooth uh, slow mo effect that you might have seen in a couple other videos. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so in order to actually install Twixter Pro, uh, I have linked a video in the description that goes through exactly what you need to do to download Twixter. I'm pretty sure it's in like fucking Indonesian or some shit, but the basics, the gist of it is just you download a file, there's two exe folders or files and you just install Twixter uh, it's called Twixter or something and then once you've installed the floating LIC version of that you you open the updates uh, exe you don't have to move it anywhere just open it and then you have it and make sure Vegas is closed through all of that of course uh, but after that you should have this there should be no watermarks or anything and you should be completely free to use so uh, I just like to drag Twixter Pro onto the track right here and you go to the clip uh, right here uh, fucking confusing here and I go to here where the character goes blue and I'm gonna keyframe this speed percentage right here and uh, add a, a keyframe uh, this is just my, how I like to do my velocity stuff uh, add a key from there and then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 back and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 back again you go to this middle key from right here set it to 200 and you go to this set it to 50 and then I like to go maybe here and then here and then set it to 100 again or that was, that was set to 10 so once you've actually done that uh, once I've rendered it it takes a bit more time to render of course but you know uh, right now I'm gonna show you a, a video how this actually looks so uh, here you go and yeah um, basically what Twixter is pretty much used for is uh, if you you can just use velocity instead this this thing here uh, people prefer to use Twixter because it actually I guess you could say duplicates frames sort of and it, it's like it can re scan your fucking previous thing or whatever and it can make frames for you I don't know exactly how it works but pretty much that's just how you use Twixter I guess uh, you can change your thing here there's some motion motion sensitivity right here you can drag it up or down uh, if you drag it down I think the quality goes down uh, and if you drag it up the quality goes up but don't quote me on that I don't really I don't really know so uh, you can just leave these and set this to best and time remap you can set it to speed or frame number uh, I definitely prefer speed uh, but yeah and you can change the output up here so Twixter would show you you know uh, it'll be pretty laggy because you haven't actually rendered the video if you set it to source uh, you'll be able to see the video without the, the velocity and yeah this is just extremely complicated and you don't really need to know how to do that pretty much it's just velocity except it, it has much better better quality and uh, you know it's definitely worth using in my opinion if you do have the time to render it uh, and you know do all of that but anyway I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this quick pretty unplanned video uh, if you did enjoy make sure to like subscribe comment you know uh, help out the channel and yeah, I will see you guys in a couple days for uh, a new video. And yeah, goodbye.